Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to get started on the Mezco Toys Doc Nocturnal Red Death. Everyone knows I have a special place in my heart for Doc Noc, much like Kuga. I I'm here for the scrapper types, you know what I mean? And Doc Nocturnal just fits the bill for me. Him and Kuga, I have a special place in my heart for. Um, and I couldn't tell you why, but if I could, it'd probably be because he's a skull faced tiny man who beats up on supernatural beings. And that's just cool as hell. So yeah, let's do with that. Let's let's go with that. So here we are with Doc Nocturnal Red Death, looking cool as hell. I everyone knows I love the original Doc Noc. Uh, I don't post nearly as enough, but I take literally photos of him and Kuga like all the time, or doing posing sessions with them all the time, and it's just so much fun. So I want to talk about how red is my favorite color, and Doc Nocturnal I really love. So this is a nice combination of the two, and it's very enjoyable. If you haven't seen the previous video, I'll link that in the description as well as linking it at the end of the video so you can check it out. But in case you've never seen it, you're here for the first time, let's talk about Doc Nock. So we have our cape, we have our hood. It's actually part of his tunic. So it turns out and the cape is removable. So what we are going to do is we're going to pop this back, right? We're going to talk about our cape first and then we're going to talk about the movement of the head and all that other good jazz. This is wired through here. And because of the way it's wired, it actually helps hold up the rest of the cape when you do stuff. So let's put the hood back on so you can see just how good this looks. Oh, look, look at that wingspan. Wingspan! So yeah, <laughs> and it's like I said, it's wired. So you can get that nice free flowing look when you wanna do all the cool stuff. Then we're gonna pop our head off and then I am not going to, I don't wanna unbuckle it because I just wanna just squeeze it right off. There we go. Like I said, we have our tunic here which is really good looking, was cooking good looking, but we have our hinged jaw. And I always love doing that because why have a hinged jaw and not do cool things with it? So in case you want to get your skeletal on or do whatever, this tiny skull like head is really cool. In comparison to the original skull that you get with Doc Nock, repainting to get it up black and green. And because this one glows in the dark would be really cool because it does do that. Unfortunately, I have too many lights on it once to show you that right now, but I'm pretty sure someone else will try to cover it in case I forget. So yeah, then we have our tunic. Now with this head sculpt on, right? Pop our tunic on, we can see that we can get left and right, but it is a very stiff joint. But when posed up, it does look really, really solid. Just such a good, good tunic, Arr, so good. I'm sorry, I have a bias towards Doc Knock. So here we are getting up in our T-pose with no problem, right? We have our bicep swivel. And just in case you wanna notice what it's like with it on, let's pop it back on with our two buttons that we have here. There we go. Let's put this back on. We're gonna fit it back on your boy. Doc Knock, baby, baby, Doc Knock. Boom, right? So as you can see, it's not hindering any sort of articulation whatsoever, right? We got a little bit of gauntlet swivel, nice going on. We are double jointed, so we can put our fist to our head, looking really good. As far as ab crunch goes, we have a little bit going forward. We can tilt side to side actually really well and go backwards. But if we're talking about total crunch, it doesn't look like much. But when the legs go up, you get that nice V shape. So it does look really good when you're doing certain things articulation wise. You can see these double jointed knees allow him to crunch up really well. Like I said, because he's a tiny guy, it just looks really good on him. We can have a little bit of forward and backwards movement. Angle pivot to the inside and out actually do look really good on this guy. They tuck out a little bit further than what you do on other Mezcos. No boot swivel though. And let's see how he looks just all posed up, getting really cool, right? It's getting a nice little scrap of pose for death foo, right? Or dock foo, I would call it dock foo, right? Oh, by the way, we do have thigh swivel. Sorry if I missed that earlier. So let's say you wanna take it up with some dock foo, right? You got your nice cape flowing. You got the wind in your hair. Well, in your skull for this case. And oh, maybe because I said the wind was in his skull, he probably didn't like that. But yeah, this guy looks really good. It's just, it's something about a cool pulp guy who beats up on supernatural beings. It just, it just works for me. So let's get them all standing up, right? 
As you can see, accessory wise, we have one of the things where we can flip up our watch, our communicator, or wrist device. We have one of our satchels here, which can be removed for adding something called a device, it's a sonic disruptor, which can displace him within space and time, right? Kind of make it look like he's a teleporter in some cases. Because basically, he's slowing down all the other things around him. Looking good, looking good. We also have his signature weapon, the Ferryman. And as you can see at this point, I think I've just gone into accessories by accident. But let's 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 keep it going, right? We can close up the Ferryman, use it as a sidearm right here. But I think one of the coolest new accessories that we get with him is the simple fact that we get two things, right? That I that I love. We're gonna get a bunch of other things, but we get two things that I love. One is Red Death actually uses handguns and has a harness, so that way. He has these little pistols, right? Can't slide back the magazine, but you are, you can remove the magazines, can you? I can't remember. No, these are not removable. Sorry, they're tiny little pistols. <laughs> but yeah, we have this to put them on them. So yeah, let's do that. And if you didn't get the cut and stitch pack, you can get it here with Doc Knock Red Death. And I love this look on him. Absolutely adore this look on him. Let's put it on. Drop the Hades bomb by accident. A Hades Inferno bomb. So we're going to close our latch here in the front. Me and my big doofy hands. Which would probably go a lot easier if I wasn't at a really awkward angle recording. But the things we do, right? So now we got some more gear on your boy. And actually, I dropped my Sonic Disruptor. Let's pop that back in. Oop, I have it upside down. Let's fix that. There we go. So now we're dual welding, and we have our two handguns there. I don't know why mine's just doing that. And that's so weird, because it's never done that before. It's literally been on all day. So let's pop that in for now. So now we have our nice look with our dual welding. It looks really, really good. There we go. Sorry, we're looking at the figure and not into the camera. <laughs> so we also get what's really cool is we get a Plague Doctor mask. This is really cool. So again, we can add that extra emphasis on it by just popping on a Plague Doctor mask. Right? I want to make sure I show you guys. If you feel like your head is going to get caught, what you do is you just push out just a little bit and you rotate right inward. There we go. And now you have it on properly. And if you want to get it over the mask, I mean, you want to get the, the hood over, you gently just pull over. And when you get to the top, I suggest you use some tweezers so you can fit it in under and pull it above. Then boom. Now you are really fresh to death why because you have a plague doctor mask on and now you can beat back most of the poison this is a good look this is fresh i like this this will give you something different even if you weren't like into doc knock or you just want the parts for it this is one of those things where you can't deny the stuff that he comes with is just cool as hell right here right now <laughs> like you just can't so yeah that looks really good oof Next up, you will get also a katana with sheath. It's also bladed out green to match his face. That way you just, you won't see it coming because you're too busy thinking it's his face, but it's not, right? You'll also still get his machine gun. You'll also get two of these in case you need to refill up on ammo. This is your, uh, your magazine, your drum magazine. You want to slide this in across. So you'll see this line etched at the top. So let's get a focus on that. There we go. Gonna see that line etched to the top. You want to align that into the top and then slide across. You're gonna use a little bit of force there, not too much. You get it in there. Boom, boom, chicka boom. Next up, one of my favorite things you'll get. This is a new accessory, the sawed-off shotgun. Right? You can even do it for when the reloading. This is gonna. Ooh, this looks so good. Right? You can also fit two of the blasts that you'll get in with it, so you can. In case you want to do this, here is a regular blast effect in there from Mezco, the FX blast that you actually get with Doc. 
And just in case you want to look cool with the bullet spree with your shot sawed off, you also have this as well too. You'll also get his signature wrench weapon. It still opens up. And you'll also get the extended version, which she also uses as a grappling hook or, you know, a grabby grab device for when you want to hurt your opponents. You'll also get grenades. You get four of these to be exact. And you get an alternative black and white sculpt here. I actually like this one, too. This looks really cool. And in case you looked at the older sculpt, we have a different war paint for this one. Looking pretty good. And now for our hand accessories, you see the closed fist there. You'll get two open action palms. I love using these hands. They're really expressive. You have the pointing two hands. I mean, twang, pointing two fingers, excuse me. You have one large hand for holding grenades or much larger items. You will get a small hand for when you want to hold the machine gun, the barrel, or any other item in that case, like with the grenades here. Like, let's say you want to just put it in the hand. You want to hold it, look cool. There you go. Then you will have two types of trigger hands for the right hand. One for larger ones with the fingers extended more and one for holding it in just a neutral pose. Then you'll also get a left hand for a trigger hand. This is going to be now because you do weld with your pistols. Very important. And then we have our patented wrench slash sword holding hands, which is very important. Last but not least that you get with Doc Knock, and I, I really love this because, again, you got that Plague Doctor mask, right? Let's get them all set up. You get a nice, cool smoke effect. A nice forming skull in the background. So when you want to walk and look cool with your Doc Knock, all right? Let's fix these feet, all right? Look at that. So let's say you want to do that cool background stuff. Boom. Best part is, right, it also lets light through really well. So let's take a pick. I mean, sorry, not a pick. Here I am ready to snap picks. Here's a light behind it looking really cool lit up. Look at that. That looks fantastic. That's dope. Now let's take our light away. Boom. Right? There is a lot of stuff that I just think Doc Knock is just overall cool as hell. But he may not be everybody's cup of tea with our Rumble Society stuff. Because I, I don't know, I just like the idea of original characters that aren't really bound by too many stories already, right? You can't say you didn't do this or you didn't do that. You can have your fun with these kind of characters. And that's kind of what's so crazy enjoyable to me, you know? And I just I just like the idea of something that I can relate to because I can make it that way. That's what makes these guys so much fun to me. Now, without further ado, we're going to take our time. I'm going to take off his Plague Doctor mask. And then we're going to jump into size comparisons. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, now it's time to jump into the size comparison. This way it gets fun for everybody, right? First things first. Here we are with the original Doc Knock, and it's Doc Knock time. I love that I now have two colors for Doc Knock. The only thing now I can ask for is a trifecta of Doc Knock. So I can have the Doc Knock trifecta, right? <laughs> I don't. I was going to say like the triangle, but it just didn't sound as cool, so I just lost track. But yeah, I like this. I like that. I have an inverted color swap looking cool as hell. I just love it. So let's take my main man, Doc, away. And now we're going to compare to some under, like some other Rumble Society members. Uh, here we have with Hawk P, right? You know what? I forgot to add Nosferatu, so I'll add him in the photos at the end. Right? Here we are with Gomez. And we have Baron Bands. So as you can see, Doc is on the smaller scale with these guys. But like I said, that's kind of why I love him. The underdog, the scrapper, the main man, 50 grand. I just, I don't know. I have an affinity towards him. So it's really cool that we don't have everybody the exact same size. I just love that kind of stuff. It just resonates with me. So let's take these guys away. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Now we got to compare to some other stuff so we can like mix and match and have some fun. Right here we are with Revoltec Iron Spider, Aaron Davis. Right here we are with an Articulated Icons Ninja. Then we have something like Mafex Carnage. This is our first batch of stuff. 
right? And as you can see, Doc is still on the smaller side. Even with, we counted like the hood tip, still just on the smaller side, which again, I love that idea. Next up we have, oh, Lightning Collection Time Force Red. Seems to be a red day for me. Hmm. Here we are with a Marvel Legends Sandman, retro carded version. I'm still got to break in those legs because he is having a tough time standing. Now, as you can see, he's much bigger and bulkier than a main man Doc. But he's more on par with the Lightning Collection stuff, which is pretty cool. Here we are with the G.I. Joe Classified Breaker Gyllenhaal. Right? Looking really cool. Then we have an SHF Kamen Rider Vulcan. I took all my Cougars away because I was working on a photo elsewhere. So here we are looking really good. And even amongst the Mexico stuff being smaller, he is still bigger than most imports, which is cool. I like that. Then we have a Mythic Legion's Perp Lore. And then I think that about rounds us out with just about everything that I've got covered by the most brands. Even if we did like, oh, let's test out a larger Marvel Legends body so you can just see. Right? But yeah, this has been fun. This has been cool as hell. I like the fact that uh got to cut loose with my main man, Doc. It's been fun. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you are having a good day. Um, I hope that, you know, whatever it is you chose to do today, you did it really well. And if it's something that you're trying new, even if you're bad at it, I hope that you continue to try to be better at it. So I hope that you're doing your damn thing. In the meantime, guys, as always, please be good. Do good. Drink your water, guys. Later. I know I said I would add in at the photos, but I'm going to add it in at the end. Why? Because I just wanted to do this. But yes, here's Nosferatu with Red Death. Looking really cool. And Ichigo. So thank you again for watching. Peace out, guys. Later.